I'm going to be straight up with you. I never would have thought that I would have seen the Bucks win the NBA championship in my lifetime. Until this year. Until the playoffs. Until we beat probably the best team in, in, in our conference. Then it was like, okay, we got this. But now that the Bucks have won, it's going to be, it's never easy to win a championship, but it's going to be easier because now they've done it. And once you've done something, you can do it again. Now that confidence grows, that confidence grows. That's why you and I better keep going in this, in this race. Because with every accomplishment, our confidence grows. Every time we hear from the Lord, we're confident we can hear from the Lord again. Every time we, lead, we, we win a soul to Christ, we know we can do it again. Anytime we lay hands on the sick and the sick recover, when we see with our own eyes, guess what? It's not such a daunting task anymore. My, my, my. You do it once, you can do it again. And I can just see, I don't think it's an accident I, I know Milwaukee wasn't trying to wait 50 years, but I don't think it's an accident that there was a 50-year gap in between championships. And it definitely wasn't an accident that Mr. Antetokounmpo scored 50 points in the, in, in the, in the game that won the, cha the first championship for the franchise in 50 years. 50 is the number of Yep, Jubilee. 50 is a number of restoration, complete restoration. Debts canceled. Freedom, liberty. Milwaukee. Liberty, freedom. Is, is, is coming to visit you. It's actually already been there. But now you're going to see it clearly, Milwaukee. You're going to clearly see it. You're going to see. You're going to see restoration in your family, Milwaukee. Now, if you don't live in Milwaukee, okay, you go right ahead and claim what you're about to hear, what, what I'm about to say. You're going to experience restoration in your family, your marriage, Milwaukee. Be ready. Be ready to receive it. Your children that have gone wayward, you are going to, you, they are going to come home. They are going to come home to the values that there's, that there was, that the godly values that they that that they were raised in. You know, once upon a time, Milwaukee, you were you you know you you, you were known to be a nice city and all that, and you still have a lot of redeeming qualities. But I proclaim liberty over you, Milwaukee, in Jesus' name right now. City of Milwaukee. And I'll include the Milwaukee area. I proclaim liberty from, from depression, from the heaviness of, of heaviness of heart. That you that you'll never amount to anything anymore. No longer will you be known as Kilwaukee. You are Milwaukee. You are not a mistake by the lake. 
you are the miracle by the lake. You are the man. You 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 you're, you're miracle manifestations. And I proclaim Jubilee over it, this is over all of Milwaukee, especially in the worst parts of Milwaukee. The areas with the highest crime rates, the, the people with the highest divorce rates, the people that suffer that, that suffer you know you know suffer from death from the womb to the tomb. Yeah, I said it. Liberty from, from the death in Jesus' name. I said it. Liberty from poverty in Jesus' name. Yeah, I said it. This was no accident. This was no accident. Milwaukee you will be known as the city of miracles. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Yeah. All these years and all these decades, Milwaukee, you've been ridiculed. You've been despised. You've been ignored. You've been shamed, but your time is now, Milwaukee. Your time is now. Times of refreshing, times of revival, times of miracle signs and wonders are coming to you and are here right now. They're here right now. They're here for the taken. Take it, Milwaukee. It's yours. In Jesus' name.